The key is to identify uh, these cancers early so we can increase the survival. Now in the past, maybe 20, 30 years ago, most of the lumps were found by women themselves um, doing a self-breast exam and we cannot stress the importance of continuing to do so. Um, however, with the adjunct of new modalities such as uh, digital mammography, uh, breast ultrasounds and breast MRs, uh, we're actually finding non more and more non-palpable lesions, both benign and malignant. And at this time, the only way we can tell whether or not a tissue is truly malignant is through biopsies, whether it be uh, stereotactic biopsies or surgical biopsies. So every day as clinicians, we are looking for another method, a less invasive method uh, to try to identify these tumors that are malignant. And one of the very promising uh, new technology is called elastography. And how we use this in, in breast is that um, when you apply pressure uh, to normal breast tissue, it becomes very compressible. And if you will, um, you can demonstrate, let's say this is a normal breast tissue, uh, you can tell how compliable when you apply pressure with your hand, it actually conforms and changes shapes. Whereas a malignant cell, uh, if you have a tumor, is more like this marble, which is very firm and when you actually apply pressure onto it, it does not give. So these are two different properties of, of tissue uh, stiffness that is seen in normal and malignant tissue. There are many studies out there that are uh, studying elastography and it looks very promising. And comparing to tissue biopsy, uh, some of the studies show up to a 98% accuracy in determining malignancy in, in certain tumors. So although we're not completely there yet, um, I think further studies are still underway and it looks like a very promising tool to help us uh, uh, become more and more or less and less invasive.